If you want to learn all about one of the most beginner friendly multi currency mobile wallets, and do you want to win a Treasure hardware wallet, then this tutorial is for you. Hello, I'm Adrian for Bitcoin for Beginners, and welcome to yet another wallet tutorial. And today will be about the Exodus mobile wallet. We will go through a short introduction, we will install it, make a backup, set passwords, go through profile and settings, receive coins show its exchange function, send some coins, and we'll give you some final thoughts and opinion. And last but not least, we will also give a Treasure hardware wallet away, and the promotion will last until seven days after the publication of this video. Please watch the entire video because you will need the information for the giveaway contest. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. Exodus did request us to make a tutorial so we could do the giveaway to our Bitcoin for Beginners community to promote the Exodus partnership with Treasure. First, let's talk about wallet security in general. Storage that is not so secure are exchange wallets. Semi-secure storage options are desktop wallets and mobile wallets. But these wallets are only as secure as the device that it is stored on. The most secure option is cold storage, such as hardware wallet or paper wallet. A proper use of mobile wallets, such as Exodus, is as a rough guideline, you can decide to only keep in your crypto mobile wallet the amount that you would also keep in your physical cash wallet, convenient for quick crypto transactions or payments at merchants. Do not store large amounts in software wallets unless the software wallet can be secured with a hardware wallet. And this is an update since our previous tutorial for the Exodus desktop wallet. From now on, Exodus can be connected and secured with the Trezor hardware wallet device. And that is a serious security upgrade because your private keys will no longer be stored on your own computer device, but on the dedicated hardware wallet. So what can we tell about the Exodus mobile wallet? First of all, it's a multi-currency wallet, which means you cannot only send or receive Bitcoin, but also other coins like Litecoin, Ethereum, EOS, BNB and many more. Currently there are 37 supported by the mobile wallet and on a desktop wallet even more than 100. The mobile wallet has some extra security features such as a password but you can also add fingerprint reading which you can use instead of typing in your password. You as a user are in full control of your private keys. However you should make a safe backup of your recovery phrase. Also the mobile wallet, just like the desktop wallet, has a built-in exchange to swap coins without to need to have some exchange account or to give your coins into custody with a third party. Your mobile wallet can also be synced with your desktop wallet. Also good to know, for some coins like EOS, XRP, BNB and Stellar, you need to include information like memo, destination tag, message or payment ID for a transaction to, for example, an exchange or another wallet. Make sure that in those cases you read the instructions on exodus.io. This is very important because if you forget to do this, you might lose your coins. Okay, now let's go into the tutorial. If you want to install the Exodus mobile wallet, please go to your App Store or Play Store and find Exodus, the secure crypto wallet and click install. Okay, and once we're done downloading, we can open the app. The first and most important thing to do is to make a backup of our recovery phrase. If we click on the profile button here, and then security, and then recovery phrase, make sure nobody is watching over your shoulder. Under here it says press and hold to reveal. So if you press it, it will show you the recovery words, which together form the recovery phrase. Write them all down on a piece of paper and then store it somewhere safely. And then you can find a passcode, enter your passcode that you want to use. Please make sure it's a lot stronger than the one I'm filling in here. Repeat the same code once again. All right, and your security is enabled. Okay, and here you can set which coins you want to show in your home screen. And in your main wallet, you can just Choose any coin or Bitcoin. If you want to receive, you need to press the arrow here on the right. And if you want to send, you need to press the one on the left. For receiving Bitcoin, standard is a SegWit address, but not all exchanges or wallets support SegWit yet. So if someone wants to send you Bitcoin and they can't send to a SegWit address, then you can also provide them with a legacy address just by clicking here and you will see that your address will change. It starts with a one and if we go to SegWit again, 
you see it starts with BC1. In today's tutorial, we will try to transact with some Litecoin. We go to our Litecoin wallet, and then we press the arrow on the right for receiving. The person that needs to send us the Litecoin can either scan the QR code or you can send them the Litecoin address. To copy the address, you need to tap the address itself. Now I will go to my other wallet to send the Litecoin to this address in Exodus. So in this wallet, I will press send and then I will paste my Exodus wallet address right here. I'm going to send all funds to my Exodus wallet, press send, enter my password, confirm. And it's on its way. As you can see, it's now a pending transaction in my Exodus wallet. So we just have to wait for the confirmation. As you can see, the transaction is now received. So one thing that's very cool is also the exchange option, which is the middle option right here. And that we can use to swap coins from one to another. So we have Litecoin. And if we want to swap, for example, to Bitcoin. And then you can choose if you want to send the minimum amount, half of your balance or all your balance. Or you can just adjust the amount and it will automatically adjust in the BTC. You can also say how much BTC you want. And if you want to enter a specific fiat amount, then you just click on the fiat amount here and then it will switch. And then you can enter a fiat amount right here. But we will just switch back. You can also see the difference in price here, which is obviously the cost for this coin swap. It's not very cheap, but the convenience is, is that it all happens in your wallet without any hassle. Like, for example, if you would have to open an exchange account, send coins to the exchange, take the counterparty risk there, trade the coins yourself and then send it back to your wallet. It can now all be done within your Exodus wallet. So that is actually a very, very convenient feature. Suppose that we now want to pay someone with our Exodus wallet. We are going to send our Litecoin to another wallet. So to do this, we will go to our Litecoin wallet again. And now we press the arrow on the left, which is for sending. You either copy a Litecoin address and paste it in this field right over here or you use this button to scan a QR code. And that is what we're going to do now. So there is the wallet on my other computer. I'm gonna open the wallet. There you see, it already scanned my QR code and took the wallet address. All I have to do now is either type in amount in Litecoin or I can type in a dollar amount but in this case, I want to send it all. So I press all and then next. And I need to slide the error to the right. And the transaction has been sent. All right. So what do I think about the Exodus mobile wallet? Here are my final thoughts and opinion. What I do like about this wallet is that it's a very intuitive user interface and that it has a very beginner friendly user experience. You can manage multiple currencies and you can make coin swaps inside your wallet. Some things that I personally don't like so much is that the wallet doesn't use change addresses, which slightly reduces your privacy and it's not able to adjust transaction fees. But to be fair, both features are likely compromises to increase user friendliness. The Exodus mobile wallet is a convenient, easy to use, all in one universal wallet, which is excellent to start with. Advanced users that would like more privacy or more freedom in managing network fees, for example, they might need to compare to other wallets. Remember, always start each new process with tiny amounts until you are sure that you master the process. Exodus is going to give away one or two Trezor devices. Pause the video if you want to read all the rules. Basically, you just have to watch the video and give it a like. Leave a comment and answer this question, which coin did we use for transactions in this tutorial? And then in about a week we will announce the winner. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all on the next one.